Hi, so for today we're going to solve some problems involving the KCL and KBL circuits. So basically we're going to solve three problems for today's video and this is gonna be a, an easy circuit before we move uh, to complex problem solving involving circuits, okay? Involving KBL and KCL. So for this problem, okay, we have this simple uh, series circuit and uh, again, uh, uh, we are asked to find for the value of I sub 1, that is the current in this circuit, and the voltage drop V sub 1, that is the voltage drop in 4 ohms. Okay, so again, KVL states that the summation of the voltage drop around a closed loop is equal to 0, and we have a loop in this direction, clockwise direction. So if I'm going to use KVL at this loop, loop 1, okay, that's it. that is our only loop, the current uh, has only one path, so that's a series circuit. Uh, I could start with I can start with the negative uh, with the 12 volts. So as I have the loop, it enters the negative side, so that would be negative 12. Okay, it enters the positive side of the 8 ohms. So what is the voltage drop here? That is 8 ohms multiplied by I sub 1 because that is the current that is uh, flowing here in the resistor 8 ohms. So we have plus 8I1, okay? That is the current times the resistance, that's voltage from the derived ohms law of B is equals to I R. And again, continuing the loop, it enters this dependent voltage source. Uh, it enters the negative side, so this would be negative 3V sub 1. And it enters again here the positive side of the, the 4 ohms, which is we labeled it as the positive V sub 1. Okay, that's the V sub 1 here. Okay. And what will happen here is that, again, uh, continuing the loop, we have plus 8. So this would be plus 8. And lastly, we have the current, um, the current dependent voltage source here. So we have, it enters the negative side. So this is 10 I sub 1 V, meaning that is the voltage that is being supplied by this current dependent voltage source, source according to this the value of I sub 1. So this 10 I sub 1 is volts. So it should be negative 10 I sub 1 because it enters the negative sign if we have a loop like this in this direction. So and then it is equal now to 0. Okay. What will happen? Negative 12 plus 8 is actually negative 4 plus 8i sub i sub 1. Okay, negative 3v sub 1 plus v sub 1 is negative 2v sub 1 minus 10i sub 1 is equals to 0. So again, what will happen here? We can substitute okay, v sub 1, but v sub 1 is actually equal to the current here. That flows in the, the 4 ohms, so that is 4 ohms, that is resistance times the current that's flowing here, that is the same as I1. Okay, so V sub 1 is simply therefore equal to 4 I sub 1. So if we are going to simply substitute it in our equation, we have negative 4 plus 8 I sub 1 minus 2 times V sub 1, which is 4 I sub 1. Minus 10 I sub 1 is equal to 0. Why did we do that? Because we can, if we are going to express this in terms of I sub 1, we can get the value of I sub 1. So we have 4, okay, this is negative 4, negative 4 plus 8 I sub 1 minus 8 I sub 1 minus 10 I sub 1 is equal to 0. 8 minus 8 I sub 1 is cancelled, so I can, I can transpose this on the other side of the equation, so this will become... Negative 4 is equals to, uh, uh, I can transfer this, okay, this one, negative 10 I sub 1. This becomes positive 10 I sub 1. And of course, our I sub 1 would be negative 4 over uh, 10 or negative 2 over 5. And that is in decimal, okay, equal to negative 0 0.4 amperes. Don't you worry if you get a negative because... Uh, it only indicates that our assumption that this current is in this direction is in the reverse direction, okay? So the negative means uh, opposite direction. So what will happen? 
we are now ready to find I sub 1. We already find the I sub 1 that is 0 point, negative 0 0.4 amperes. Okay. So, how do we find V sub 1? V sub 1 is equal to, while ago, our formula 4 ohms multiplied by the I sub 1 that is 4 ohms multiplied by negative 0 0.4 amperes. But of course, this should be a, pass, uh, a negative, negative 1.6 volts. So, that's how we get the voltage drop at the 4 ohms and the current I sub 1. So, for the second problem, let's find the I sub 1 given this circuit. Okay? So, we have a purely parallel circuit wherein we have a current source, we have a resistor 3 ohms, and we have a current dependent current source, 3 I sub 1 ampere, which means that, oops, I should rewrite this as Sorry, I should rewrite this as the smaller I sub 1. So we have 3 I sub 1 amperes, okay? which means that the, this current dependent current source uh, supplies current depending on what is the value of current here, I sub 1. So we have 2 ohms and we have another current source which is 4 amperes. Okay? So how do you find I sub 1? That is the value of the current here. Now, let us realize that this whole, okay, this whole connection, okay, where this element meets is, we call that node A. That's a node, that's a simple node, okay? So, uh, we state that in KCL, the submission of currents entering the node, okay, should be equal to zero. So, if we consider this a node, we have the currents, okay, actually entering or leaving this node. So again, the, our our convention is that if the if the uh, current is entering the node, we have a positive sign. If the current is leaving the node, then that is a negative sign for the current. Okay. So what will happen? Let's analyze. Let's have KCL at node A. If we have a KCL at node A, we must consider all the currents entering and leaving that node. So for this one, for this branch, the, the 8 amperes is on the downward direction. It means it leaves the node, so that is negative A. Okay? And on this branch, since we have the potential here assigned by the resistor, positive and negative, it means we say on our previous discussion that current actually flows from the positive or the higher potential to negative or the lower potential. So it means that the direction of the current here in 3 ohms is assumed to be going downwards, going away again from the node. So we don't know that current, but like we can label that, that, that we can label we can label the voltage at this node as V. Okay? So if we label that as V, we have the value of the, the resistance from the from the ohms law, we have I is equal to V over R. So we can label it as V over 3 because the value of the resistance is 3. And again, the current is away from the node because we have the polarity of the resistance here, which means that this is the positive to negative. So it means that the current is going down because the current flows from the higher potential to the lower potential. So if it's going away from node A, then that should be also negative. So the current is negative V over 3. Okay? And then plus, because this current source, okay, is, uh, the current here is entering the node. So we have 3 I sub 1. Okay? That's the current. Okay, again, minus I sub 1 because this I sub 1 in the bridge current here is going away from the node. Okay? So we need not to get the voltage V over 2 here. But uh, this is already given, the I sub 1. So we have the I sub 1 here. And lastly, this 4 amperes, this, depend, uh, this independent current source, has a direction going inside the node. So that must be positive 4. It's equals to 0. So we have negative 8 plus 4. That's negative 4. Negative 4 minus V over 3. And we have plus 3 I sub 1 minus I sub 1 is plus 2. I sub 1 is equals to 0. Okay, so what will happen? We need to reduce this into uh, 
single variable. So, negative b over t. So, i sub 1 is equal to what? i sub 1 is actually equal to, since they are parallel, if this is voltage b at this node, they are parallel, This the voltage experiences is voltage b with v also. And also here, the, the, the voltage drop here is the same as the voltage drop here in the 3 ohms, as well as the voltage here, voltage here, voltage here, because they are connected in parallel. So, what would be the I sub 1? I sub 1 is now equal to V over, again, the value of 2 ohms, because of the I is equal to V over R. We have the value of voltage drop at this uh, branch, that is V, over the resistance, that is 2. So, the 2's will cancel, and that should be equal to 0. So, if we're going to realize this, this would be negative V over T plus V is equal to, I can transpose negative 4 on the right side, so that should be 4. So, if I'm going to factor out, again, V, so what will happen, we have negative 1 third plus 1, okay, is equals to, uh, V is equals to 4 negative 1 third plus 1, that is 2 thirds, okay, that is 2 thirds, 2 thirds V is equals to 4, uh, solving for V, we have V is equals to, uh, 4 times 3, that's 12, divided by 2, okay, and that is 6 volts. The voltage V is 6 volts. That's the voltage, okay, in every branch, okay, because they are connected in parallel. So, can we get now I sub 1? I sub 1, a while ago, what we said is, that is the voltage V over the resistance to ohms, according to ohms law, I is equal to V over R. So the voltage V is 6 volts over 2 ohms, and technically that I sub 1 is equal to 3 amperes. Okay? And that is one classic example of how are we going to solve for the, the currents using KCL and KBL. Okay, down to our last example for this problem, it's pretty much the same. Only we have I sub 1 if the value of R is equal to 1 ohms, and B if the value of R is 9 ohms. So, let's solve for A first. As you can see, this is purely a parallel circuit, so we can apply KCL. KCL at node A, let's label this whole, uh, this whole node. Technically, that's a node. That's one node as A. Okay. If we have a KCL at node A, what will happen is for letter A, R is equal to 1 ohms. So again, we have 6 amperes because it's going, okay, it's entering the node. Plus, okay, the R, the value of R here is 1. Okay, so we have, we know that the current, again, sorry, that is not a plus. We know that the current here in the resistor is actually going away from the, okay, the node because the potential or the, 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 the polarity of the resistance is from positive to negative. It means that the current is in this direction. It first enters the positive and then the negative. So we know that the current is in that direction, okay? So, and we label that the voltage, uh, the voltage here at this uh, node is, let's say, V. And they have the same voltage drops, okay? Because they are all connected in parallel. So, if, if the current is away, okay, then this must be negative, okay? So, that must be minus, okay, current V over R, whatever the value of R. In this case, the value of R is 1. But later, we substitute the 1 until we complete the equation for KCL. And then, this current uh, dependent current source is entering the node. So, that must be plus 2i sub 1. Can I label this as uh, a lowercase i sub 1 as well as this for us to be consistent. So, 2i sub 1 amperes. Okay. And again, we have current leaving i sub 1, uh, this 3 ohms or this, this node because of this given direction. So that must be minus I sub 1. And this is also the, the, the independent source is leaving the node. So that must be minus 2 is equals to 0. So 6 minus 2 is 4 minus V over R. In this case, our A is, our resistance is 1. So V divided by 1 is simply V 
plus 2i sub 1 minus i sub 1, that is plus i sub 1 is equals to 0. So, what will happen in here is, again, we have to resolve this into single variable. i sub 1 is simply equal to the, the voltage over the resistance. So, we have 4 minus v. Okay. i sub 1, again, is equal to the current or the voltage v. Because the voltage drop here in the resistor is also V. Because again, they are connected in parallel. Over the 3 ohms. Or in other words, V over 3. So, negative 4 minus V. Okay. Plus V over 3. That's our I sub 1 is equal to 0. So, transposing negative 4. Okay. Or, uh, or 4 on the other side. We have negative V plus V over 3 is equal to negative 4. And factoring out V. So, we have V minus 1 plus 1 third. So, negative 4. Resolving for V. Negative 1 third. Negative 1 plus, uh, sorry, 1 third is actually what? We have V negative uh, 2 thirds. Okay. It's equals to negative 4. So, if you have negative 2V over T is equals to negative 4. Solving for V, we have negative 2V. We have negative 12 and B therefore negative 12 divided by negative 2 is 6 uh, volts. So that is our voltage drop. Okay, the voltage at each node. Okay, the voltage at node A actually. Okay, so 6 volts. They are they have the same voltage drop because they are connected in parallel. Again, they write this. This is 6 volts. The B is equal to 6 volts. And again, how do we find I sub 1? I sub 1 is simply this formula. So we have V over 3 ohms. So that is 6 volts over 3 ohms. So I sub 1 is 2 amperes if the resistor 1 is equal to 1 ohm. Okay? So I leave this problem to you. What will happen if the resistance is changed, resistance R is changed into 9 ohms? What will happen to the I sub 1? Okay, that is your take-home problem if you are interested in solving this. So, you may comment down below your answers. And let me see if that is correct. Okay, and let me see if you got that correct. But our answer, I'm going to give you the answer. The answer if the resistor is actually changed into... It changed into 9 ohms. Our answer for I sub 1, okay... Our answer for I sub 1 would be, okay, this is for letter B, our I sub 1 would be negative uh, 6 amperes. So let me know if you got that correct So by commenting down below on our video. So thank you so much for listening. This is again Engineer Abba. More videos in electrical circuits to come. So just, just relax. Just take it easy. I'm going to upload some problems or complex hard problems. Uh, in the future. So thank you so much for listening and God bless you.